panel. So today we'll try to solve this problem 2114 on lead code, which is to so what does it do? So okay, so we have to find maximum number of words in a sentence. Okay. So we have got a lot of sentences here which is in array. So we have got a string, we have got an array of strings. So see, this is a string, first string, second string, and third string. And uh, return the maximum number of words. So we'll have to return the maximum number of words in each string. So in this string, if you see, we have got one, two, three, four, five. This one has one, two, three, four. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, it makes sense. The output is six. It says here, you can, you can see here for the detailed explanation. So first one has five words, four and six. So we return which one? We return the maximum one. So here we can try to do one thing. See, I can solve the problem here, but if you want to give it one more try before seeing my solution, I can give you some hints. So we will use here array dot length property. We'll also use dot split property to split uh, between each of these words to get the length. And then we can store that length and we can return the one with the highest length if it makes sense. Okay. So if you still cannot do it, then follow me. I'll make sure that you understand. Okay. So we'll write it down first what we have to do. So we'll need a variable called max maybe, which will be zero. We will then run a for loop. Run a for loop. Yeah. We learn a follow to get access of all the elements basic uh, and then what? Well, then we will need to use a method. We'll create a variable and we'll try to use basically for that each i element we will get right of that sentence as seen for the sentences. We will try to use a method called use split. I guess it's split here. Yeah. S P L I T. It's split. Use method called split and we'll try to put one like basically this strings and then space between this so through this what's gonna happen is we will get a comma between we'll we'll separate after a space like whichever letter has a space in it we'll give a comma between that and then we'll be able to take a use dot length property on it right so let's do this and then use length and return the max length easy if you still want to try you can try it using this but okay i'll continue so we'll use variable max equals to zero because we want a variable max which is zero from the beginning so what do we do i want to get hold of all these strings now right so i can use for for loop for variable i equals zero i should be less than sentences dot length and then i plus plus yeah now what do i want so i've already got access to uh, from this situation i've got access to sentences of i but i don't want that i want to get comma between these things so i can get a sub array you know and then get a length property on it so what can we do it here we can create a variable we can create a new variable called new uh, new sub array maybe we can create a new sub array equals to and we will get sentences at i and then we will use the property it's a javascript method called split so we'll use the prop uh, method called split and we'll put one of this uh, string and then put a space between this so now you'll ask why would i did this and why didn't i put just directly like this what's the difference so if you do like this then it will try to put a comma after every space it sees and if you don't put this then like if you do like this then you know what's gonna happen after a comma l comma i comma c e we'll get a space between this but we don't want this we want to just calculate each word one two three four five if we if they would have told us to calculate each uh, word letter then maybe this would work but we don't want that so let's do this yeah then now what do we have so now if we if i try to I'll try to, you know, console.log as well. I'll console.log here, new sub array. Okay. So we'll see this thing, what happened, right, at the end. So you see now what I've done. I've already splitted this thing 
all the sentences at i i is what zero one and two so this is the zeroth element first and then second i already split it them as well so all of them are split as well now what do i want so i'll use uh, create a new variable again so i'll create a new variable called length of uh, array like split array maybe okay so now what do i want equals to new sub array you know what's new sub array this sub array which we got after split so this split right so alice comma and comma bob like so what do we want what was the question so it's really easy now if you see so we just want the length of this right we they wanted uh, how many words so easy ways to just calculate the length so if we do le le so if we do array dot length so see now what happened i got length of this i element if i would have tried to do it directly then it wouldn't then it would just give me a length of one but when i use split then it will give me length of this whole thing one two three four five yeah now now it's really easy now we don't need to do anything else now we just need to put a if condition so what do we do so we say if length if length uh, make sure of this uppercase and lowercase if length of array is greater than max right if condition always helps so if you use if condition if length of array this array if it is greater than max which is zero max is zero and length of array is five in the beginning then what do we want what we want is we want to set that max equals to length of array so you know what happens so whatever thing you want to set to whatever thing you want to set you put it on left hand side the value you want to put in left hand side you put it in the right hand side right so you want to put this length of array whatever value it has you want to put it inside max so you put max on left hand side after this what happened so this and after the for loop you always return after the for loop why because you want to know the all the answers which is the maximum then you just return the max uh, i and that should give us the answer see what's going to happen let let me explain you so the length is 5 in the beginning and uh, max is 0 so 5 is greater than 0 yeah okay it says okay 5 is greater than 0 then put this 5 into this so we, this max has 5 then it goes again does the whole process and then next time it gets 4 cuz you know i think so too is 4 so it says okay 5 is greater than 4 no it's not right so it's not going to do anything then next time it goes and say this is great thanks very much how much its length its length is 6 so we see okay is 6 greater than 4 or wow. is 6 greater than 5 yes it is then it says okay then you take the value then it returns it so after this now if i try to run the code let's see what do we have yeah so see it worked and we got it and if you also see that we printed it see alice comma so that's how we got all the separation between this and that's how it calculated the length that's all fight if you need more videos like this really easy solutions like this then let me know on which problem do you need help with and yeah i'll make a video on it thank you very much keep coming to my channel subscribe it like my videos that's all